Welcome to Wonderlust. I'm Millie. And I'm Jonty. Recently we've heard a lot of people talking about the trouble with not being able to travel due to COVID-19. But we were able to explore many different wonderful places in the world through one of Singapore's amazing wildlife preserves. Yeah, the kids kind of hijacked this episode. They were really into just wanting to be in front of the camera. Milo loves facts, so you're gonna find He's out some with cool facts, facts yeah. this week about all the different animals that we saw. So we hope you enjoy it. Um, the kids actually have their own YouTube channel that we started a while ago, but we haven't really done anything for it for a while, so um, you can check it out. We'll put it up here so that you can see. Have a look, have a watch. Let us know if you think it's something you'd be interested in watching a few more of, because they do like getting involved with us as well. <laughs> so we hope you enjoy traveling with us. River in the world. I read it in the book and it's called About Rivers. What we really like about the river safari is that it gives you cross sections of different rivers from across the world. So the, the Mississippi River at the moment, and you can see different species and plants that you would typically find there. So it's kind of like we're traveling around the world without having to get on an airplane and see all these different species, which is really, really cool. Yeah, like nice rivers, not like the Thames, but bits of old bike tire and half a buggy down there, a shopping trolley, but um, yeah, the nice ones. All of the different attractions linked with the zoo are all trying to go paperless and trying to do more for the environment. So this is a QR scanner and you just scan it and you get the map in several different languages, which is really, really good. It's nice that they're taking care of the environment as, as well as being able to show you all the environments that the animals live in here. This bit here is probably one of my favourite parts of uh, this river safari park. I guess it just captures my imagination. Going to the Ganges River will be one of the sort of bucket list things for me. To experience the culture and the people and the way that the locals over there consider the river to be holy because of everything that it provides them. Um, and to be able to see what is living beneath the surface is, um, is pretty exciting for me. So there's a special adventure trail that the zoo and the river safari have got in at the moment and you scan some QR codes that are dotted around the park and it gives you a little video, a little bit more information about the animals and at the end you can redeem it for a free ice cream which is always favourite with the kids. Careful, you might bite. What's your favourite bit so far? There's a fishy thing, a real one over there, a real one of these. It's called the lungfish and it can live up to 100 years old. What's it doing, buddy? It's hiding over there in the sand. To get away from other people. I love all of the um, little details that they've managed to choose out here. Like just now, we were in the Mary River, which is a, an Australian river. Um, and it was all kind of rocks and over here we're at the Mekong River and it's kind of boarded up and just has a little bit more of a local feel. I guess it helps to take your imagination with you a little bit along the way and, um, and to be able to maybe just experience not just the fish and the, the water life but just the, the whole environment I guess which is pretty cool. I like it. Little, uh, little touches, little, little details are really nice. inside the tank and um, they have tiny little feelers underneath their chin and they look like moustaches. One day we'd love to visit the Mekong River but we were just thinking, imagine 
if you were swimming in the river and you suddenly saw one of these, but they're actually plant eaters, so yeah, I think you'd get a fry, but you're not going to get eaten, thankfully. Again, coming out of one section here into another where we've got some like ceramic roof tiles into China, which is pretty cool. So we're still in the China section at the moment and this is where you can find the pandas. He's eating. He looks happy. Eating bamboo. Aspen.
We hope you enjoyed the video. I have always wanted to have a pet monkey. He doesn't count. Um, so there might have been lots of shots of monkeys, but I had to really cut it down because I've always wanted a pet monkey. And I remember as a kid, I had a toy monkey and my mum bought me a book on how to speak chimpanzee. <laughs> and I embarrassingly remember sitting on my bed trying to speak chimpanzee. Thank you for all of the comments and all of the likes. We're enjoying replying to each and every one of them and finding out new places, different places to eat as well. We haven't managed to go on a food hunt recently, so hopefully we can get round to that soon. We also started a Patreon site. Uh, so if anybody is interested in sponsoring us, please feel free to check that out. All the details are below. The advantage of it is that you do get some previews and some extra little bonuses, which is kind of fun. Um, so please do check that out if that's something that interests you. Thanks for all the continued support. We really appreciate it. And we hope that through our videos, you can see the wonder in your world as well. Bye. Bye.